I wish that as a nation uh, that we could set our sights much higher. I believe it is essential to have a national purpose. It is essential to maintain the pioneering spirit that made this country great. It's the spirit that got us through uh, this past century. It got us through world wars. It allowed us to move into a leadership role and it was a compassionate leadership role uh, throughout the world. It is a nation that allowed us to step up to the challenge of the Cold War and win it. It's a challenge that took the country to the moon. It took us into space. It made us the preeminent force in space. And in the process of doing this, we rekindled the pioneering spirit of a generation of people that grew up in the Depression and came to adulthood in the 60s and carried space from the 60s through to the early 90s. I would like to find some way to sufficiently challenge a new generation of people, to get them out of the I mode into the we mode, to make them want to do something rather than be something. I would like to give young people the same dream that we had. I would like to find our nation unified, the world unified, in the achievement of a common goal. I believe that space provides us. I believe difficult programs like Mars would provide it. But unfortunately, we do not have the national leadership that we need. We do not have a United States Congress that really recognize the need for this country to continue to grow and invest in R&D. We don't have the national leaders capable of stepping up and taking a difficult position and articulating why we must do something. I'm not interested in something for Gene Kranz. I'm interested in something for my children. I'm interested for something for my children's children because we are the only nation in the entire earth that is blessed with the types of freedom that we've had that has the economic potential of a great nation composed of so many different ethnic groups and types of people, the people of doing these kinds of things. So we must continue to force leadership to grow. And I was privileged and proud to be part of the years when leadership flourished in this mission control. There's not one flight director who ever left here who was not inspired to do something else and to do better. And I think that it is important for us to communicate, not only to people here at Johnson, people who are going to be looking at these tapes, but to people of the nation, this very magnificent era that we all lived in, and maybe didn't look closely enough and find its true meaning.